girls. It's time for a story. My sweet Valentine. Still no messages on my phone. I guess she wasn't going to call me back after all. I can't really blame her. Maybe I came on a bit too fast yesterday. I had noticed her long before she noticed me. Her shiny black hair and unnatural blue eyes. I wasn't the only one watching her, that's for sure. Her movements were elegant in a boyish way. And her smile. Her smile. I would die for that smile. Still no messages. I thought about calling her, maybe apologize for going too fast yesterday. I'm a coward, I know, but I just couldn't bring myself to dial her number. Besides, she promised she'd contact me when she's ready. So I'll wait. I'm patient. I know, I'll just casually stroll past her house. Just to see if she's home. Maybe she's out, that would explain why she couldn't call me yet. She's only half an hour away anyway. Maybe she's shy and is scared to call me. Silly girl. I'll go to her and tell her that she doesn't have to be scared. That I don't mind if she needs time. She lives pretty secluded in a farm on the outskirts of town. I can hear the sheep in the stables as I approach. My heart skips when I see there's lights burning inside. She must be there. She told me yesterday her parents would be gone for the weekend. They left her to look after the sheep for those days. Poor baby, that must be hard work. She was probably just too busy to call me. I'll have to stay here until her parents come back and help her take care of all those sheep. I knock on the door, but she doesn't answer. Maybe she fell asleep. The thought of her beautiful face even more softened by sleep makes me smile. I try the door, it's a lot. There's hardly any crime around here, so I guess locking the door is not needed. I try to be as quiet as possible as I sneak through the house. I want to surprise her. I cringe at every creak the stairs make as I climb them. Finally I've reached the bedroom and I carefully open the door. There she is, lying in bed, as I thought. Quietly I switch on the night lights on her desk so I can see her face. Her blue eyes are open, staring into space and her whole face is one bloody mess. Her cheeks have been carved, the skin mostly removed and hanging loose on the sides of her face. She's missing her fingernails. They are laid out on the bed carefully arranged. On her bare chest words are carved. I look at her, my hands covering my mouth. She's still the same as I left her yesterday. She must have been so tired that she slept all day. How cute. I softly kiss her lips, making sure I don't wake her. Then I write another message below the one on her chest, letting her know I'm here when she needs me. I leave the room, heading back outside. I think it's time for the sheep to go to sleep. And tomorrow I'll introduce myself to her parents. I'm sure they'll love me too. Don't you think? Happy Valentine's Day.